poultry contributes to improved human nutrition and food security by being a leading source of high quality protein in the form of eggs and meat. Poultry farming is characterized by different methods of production which include village flocks, small scale, commercial flocks and large scale commercial farms. Today we visit MKK farm in Buloba owned by Namayuba Esther who utilized the backyard space to start her own poultry farm which has reaped benefits for her. This is our farm, MKK, uh, poultry farming. We have different types of uh, birds. These ones are layers from, from Kenchik. Now they are eating, we, we feed them once in a day. We measure the, 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 the feeds and put them once in the, in the feeders. And we sometimes even feed them on the green matter. Like we have the Russian confrey, we have the dodo and other herbs which are good to the chicken. We feed them some time to come, like in the afternoon. When they finish the feeds, they also have to rest because they have to rest so that the feeds work. And this part here, we, we have those ones laying. Already they are in a laying stage. Now the, the shed, the shed is uh, for them to to reduce some some light. They don't want to lay eggs in a, in too much light. So we put on a shed so that they can come and enjoy their laying. So we put on shed when they feel they want to lay. They come and enter the, the, in this. The, 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 laying, the laying nests are there inside. Yeah, so we put on a shed. We put in some spaces where they can pass. The other here. Yeah, for them, they, they learn. They learn how to use it. When you put it, they know that we have to pass here, we have to pass here. So you leave in some, some gaps, some gaps. You can use anything. Uh, this one, the tarpaulin, uh, sometimes uh, the the polythen, but mostly this one is good because even air can pass through it. We are using this part as a brooder. This is our brooder. This is our brooding room. You see these uh, tarpaulin. These ones are, are now one month and one week. Also, this is a Kenchik breed. So we put these ones, when it is night, we put them back so that the room is, they, they, they feel warm. We even put in a stove with a charcoal because up here it is a, a bit cold in the, in the, at night. Eh? So we put in that charcoal and then we put, we close here, we close the whole thing. Yeah. But now we, are, we, we want to extend them because now the place is a bit, they are congested. So here where you see this uh, maroon tarpaulin here, we are on an extension. We want to extend it. So we have put this uh, coffee husk. We are now preparing. So if, it, if the room is ready, we are just going to, to get that tarpaulin off so they enjoy the, the space, you know. They like um, jumping, running around, so they like it so much. That's why we have to create a, a bigger space for them. So now, uh, these are the, the feeders, uh, wooden ones, but uh, sometimes they make the feeds dirty. When they are bathing, they like bathing so much because at this stage, they are active. They eat, they move around, they jump around, so the feeds sometimes get contaminated. But now they are grown up a bit, we are about to lift them. We get some wires we tie up and they be like in this stage. So when they are bathing, 
the seeds are not contaminated with the, with the husks. When they bring them, when they are still young, like one day old, there is some vaccines which they give them when they are still at the hatchery. And that others here, we start with, um, with day five. Day five, we, we have to, to vaccinate the, the new castle. Newcastle, that is the, the major killer disease. Newcastle, Gumboyo. I, I got someone, he told me, when I was starting, he told me how to vaccinate. You put, you drop, mostly vaccines you, you drop on the eye. Um, but when they are mature like the other ones, there is one we, you, you, you put on the, on the wing. There is one we vaccinate here in the chest. For these layers, when you vaccinate as many times as possible, each month you have to to vaccinate. These ones at four four months and the two weeks, they will be start starting laying. But now they are still we are still on a, a long way to go because we are even still warming them at night. They are not yet done with the warming. This one is for warming at night. When they are still young, from one, from day one, up to up to one month, we, we we have been warming them day and night. But now, as they go on maturing, you go on reducing. We have been having uh, one, two, three stoves. Sometimes four when it rains. When the weather is cold, we add more. But now we can use one, sometimes two. We are going, we are going on reducing the heat as they go on because they have feathers now. They can fly, they can do what. We open the windows so that they, they enjoy that day. When the night comes, we put on those tarpaulin and they get warm. Uh, these bulbs, uh, we use them only for, for lighting. Because when they are still young, they eat day and night. They, when they wake up, they eat. But now, the time coming there, we are, we are going to reduce on the feeds. We give them the feeds once as the other ones. But when they are still young, they eat day and night. So the lights are, are for lighting the, the, the what? the house. Yeah, this one is a rechargeable one. I put it there. When, when it is lighting, it is rechargeing itself. When the power goes off, at least the house must be having some light in, inside. The other one is just a, a bulb. Now this is uh, another type of breed. Uh, they are white in color. These ones are broiler. These ones grow faster, more faster than the other ones. Because now these ones are one month, one month and four days. The broilers uh, take less days compared to, 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 to the layers ones. So these ones are going. They would have even gone yesterday or the other day. We be with them like uh, up to 35 days, between 35 and 40. They are, we have to sell them off. Because when they, they grow more, they eat more. For them, every time they are eating. Now, this one is already grown up. It is ready for, 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 for chicken tonight. <laughs> chicken, and, chicken and chips, this white, birds are just for meat, not for eggs. You have to put water near to the, to, to the feeds. When it eats here, it drinks, it eats, it drinks. So, because they are lazy. They don't want to move so much as the other and they don't fly. Eh? And if you give them ample space to fly, they don't gain weight. So, you have to a bit be squeezed, not so much, because they die quickly. Yeah, even he, he a lot of heat, a lot. 
so they can die quickly. So what you do? You give them some little space, though not so little, so that they can put on more weight. These are the broilers. Now this section here is for the young ones of the broilers. It is a, a brooder. Uh, they are now grown up. The brooding time is over. But as it is a rain season, we have to sometimes keep on putting in one stove one charcoal stove for, for making them warm. They don't get bigger space also, as you see. We're about to increase the space, but not yet. Yeah, so this is their brooder, and they're about to get a brood. For them, like two weeks, seven to, to 10 days brooding time. These ones now are, are two weeks. They have more only two to three weeks to get out. Now most of you think that to do poetry you must do it on a very very large scale but on today's episode we are here to tell you you can actually start small in your backyard actually do poetry and make good good money. My farm, as brief as you see it, yeah, <laughs> it is still brief. Though yeah. I'm trying to go on enlarging it, as yeah. you can see, expanding, yes, expanding. They are yeah. building the other part. Uh, but I started uh, with some little little chicken, like 100 there in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, some time back because I wanted to learn while doing. Oh. Yeah. So you did not just start the farm right away. You got no. Practice, it's a practice, yeah, a badge. I, I started the, in that kitchen. Mm. Uh, then the first uh, the first room which yeah. I built for the chicken was the other one. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. that small one for brooding mm. and this one for the workers. So I started with a little thing, mm. but I want to go on uh, expanding. Yeah. By the time I started, yeah. I started with the uh, Croilers, they call them croilers. Croilers, mm, I yes. think they are of Indian origin. Okay. Yeah. I started with croilers. Yes. And um, they were 100 and they they did so well. Oh. Yeah, they grown so big and I even I didn't want to sell them. Oh, you were attached. <laughs> hey. uh, now how much did you start with? Because you said you started small and the reason why we're here today is to tell people and give them hope. Mm. And they can actually start small. They don't have to do it um, on, a, on oh. a large scale. So how much did you start with? Um, by that time, yes, I started with those hundred croilers. Yeah. By that time, croilers were uh, at two thousand yes. per, per small chick, one yeah. day, one day old. And I bought those drinkers, the mm. small small ones as you see them. Yeah, the drinkers, the feeders. Yeah. Five hundred. It was around five hundred eighty. Oh, five hundred eighty Uganda shillings. Yeah. Now, um, how is the market for the hens? Your hens. Do you have market for them? Do you have immediate Ma buyers? Like, uh, yeah, buy? immediate buyers. Sometimes uh, you get them as quickly as you want. Yeah. Sometimes it delays a bit. Mm. The other time before Corona lockdown. Yes. It was at least a bit. Mo they were a bit moving, mm. but these times, uh, sometimes you you wait. Like some now, I have some broilers. Yeah, I would have sold them yeah. last two week. Now that you're waiting, I'm um, still okay, waiting. That's, that's they are coming. So, yeah. mm. now you've also mentioned that as a problem. But what other problems do you face as a you know a female farmer with a poetry farm? Mm, no, the problem I'm facing, yeah, like mostly transporting of feeds. Mm. Uh, transporting of uh, um, 
this, the hands, the, the hands. Um, mostly the problem is with transport, sometimes mm. the drugs. Mm. Uh, it's quite it's so easy to get them accessibility to drugs, transporting uh, the chicks. Transporting the chicks. Okay. Um, sometimes even like uh, making a brooder is some, sometimes hard. tiresome or, oh. or hard. Mm. Okay, now what's the future for MKK? You've already talked about expanding. Are you going to go into other types of birds? I know. You're going to stick to the hens and yeah. just expand? Yeah. Mm, because uh, 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 the other times I was just dealing in croilers. Yeah. Croilers, then broilers. Mm. What I wanted is to get used to, mm. yeah, to get used to uh, like loving birds. Because mm. rearing birds, you have to be loving. Mm. Yeah. You use these hands for me. I, I, I don't paint nails, oh. fingernails. I yeah. don't paint. Because these, her, these hands and uh, what have you, the, the mm. fingers are used as a, a rake. Eh? Mm, we have a rake, too. yeah, but sometimes you do mix the feeds. Eh? Mix the feeds. Mm. Uh, even cleaning, cleaning oh. inside. Yeah. yeah. When you get a rake, you have to go on Do you do checking. it all yourself, clean and feed? I do it myself yeah. with, I have now one, one worker. Oh. The other time I didn't have. Okay. Mm. Now you mentioned that you also have like a... Um, a shop at Container Village, we at Container Village actually. Eh. We're shooting something with another shop. But what's the name of your shop in case people want to buy something from you? Uh, the name of the shop is uh, Nyange Modern Agro Farming Tools okay. and Equipment, okay. uh, dealing in agriculture. Now, uh, in case people want to buy some hens from you, some croilers, mm. um, can you give us your contact information? Oh, the contact information, yeah. my telephone number. Yes. Uh, I have uh, M10. Yes. M10 is 0772-564452. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Guys, as you can see, I've um, conquered my fear. I like to eat them, but I don't like to touch them when they're alive. And they scare the hell out of me. But as you can see, um, we had a good time with the hands. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like this video, give us a thumbs up, you know, hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe you'll get a hand when you subscribe. Just, just subscribe and find out. Now, my name is Joanita. Till next time.